I just got to the flea market. Uh, so far, it looks really busy. It does. It did rain last night, so the ground is kind of wet. And uh, once again, Stan decided to wear his good shoes. I don't know why you do that to yourself. I only have good shoes. I don't... What are you trying to say about my shoes? <sighs> Nothing. My shoes are pretty bad. I'm not like Stan. I'm not really a shoe person. Anyway, flea market looks pretty busy. Um, it looks like a lot of vendors from Seacon are here, so I don't know how busy Seacon will be, but we'll see. But, you know, hopefully get something cool. Last yeah. few weeks, it's been, it's been decent. I found that uh, Sega Saturday game and that Switch, so uh, you know, maybe this week I'll find a bunch of games. Because I really haven't found, like, a big lot of games in a while, so hopefully we'll find stuff for cheap. Uh, if we get anything cool, we'll show you back at the house. Halo 3. Ghost Recon. Big bumping. Years of War. Dark Sector. Batman 2. I like those. Oh, that's really cool. You, like, you have all the magazines, yeah. yeah. I think I have all these games except Dark I'll Sector. Oh, that's pretty dope. We're going to Free Month Xbox Live by redeeming that code. Let's find those for work. Let me see what I have of these. I think I have all these except uh, Dark Sector. How you doing, sir? Yeah. How much for the uh, PS1? Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Do you know if it works, sir, or do you have any of the wires? I don't have anything. I just poured it out of the storage unit. I had no way to test it. Is this all the video game stuff you have? Just that and just that? controller. <sighs> Since you know the wires, you do five? Sure. Alright, we'll do five. Cool. Right. Kobe wanted a GameCube, right? Yeah. And comes with a box, too. I think mine is the black one already, so I might already have that one. Legend of Zelda. And Bioshock. Oh, that's a good game. Auto Storm. Warfare 2. Final Fantasy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Brotherhood. Last of Us. How much is the uh, GameCube and stuff? Um, if you wanted the whole GameCube, um, there's three paddles there. Yep. The games, everything. Um, I'm throwing in the games and all that. Memory card. I, the box is not really good, I, but it's got the paperwork. It has um, everything inside. Oh, it does? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's got oh, the, awesome. um, everything in there, the original. Um, with all that stuff now added... I'd go 130. 130, and how much for these uh, PS2 games are you looking for? Um, which ones specifically? Are you um, like all of them, kind of. I don't have any of them, so. I'd go with 10 bucks each. 10 bucks each, okay. Yeah, let me just see. Uh... And my friend just gave us, dropped this on me last night. What happened? I also have um, a box of um, Pokemon cards that they gave me. Like I looked at the dates, like 2010s or whatever. They're older ones. Box in the back. I just don't want them out because they're gonna blow around. And last question, how about for the Sega Genesis game? Mm. That one, I go 10 to. 10? Alright, cool, thank you. You're welcome. Apparently, uh, they did the same with Garrett. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright, Stan, let's uh, see what we got over here for games. Wakeboarding Unleashed. <laughs> they have a game for that? Not bad. How much are your games? They're a little different. There's some that's a little bit more, but most of them are two. Okay, cool. There's a few that ain't. Alright. Game in there? Yeah, sometimes I hate when they get stuck in there. Yeah, they get stuck in there sometimes. UFC game. I don't know what have Assassin's Creed 2 or not. Or Defiance. Or Morph. Sniper Elite. I don't have a lot of these games. I'm gonna buy a lot of them. 
Yeah. yeah I don't have a lot of these 360 games. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Is that a, is that a Japanese game only? Look on the, the spine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for Japan only. Wait. It says for Japan only, and then the yeah. side says, yeah, Japan. That's pretty cool. I might grab that. You won't grab that. How the Japanese discs usually look? So minty. I, I, I haven't been to Japan in a long time, I don't know. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, silent school for you. That's a good one. Backyard Football 09 with Brady on it. Pick this up. No manual. Huh? No manual. Uh, I might grab it. Streets of LA, good game too. That's mine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I don't have a bag. I should have a bag. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> Final Fantasy. Like a big pile. Is that a That's a good game. You know that. How many copies of uh, Grand 3 do we have from the auction? What did we get? Like 40 of them? I think we did, to be honest. Medal of Honor European Assault? Tetris Worlds? be that guy that's the pile I'm making for myself <laughs> I <laughs> thought they looked too good. yeah I'm sorry about that man I'm gonna be that guy <laughs> hey, check it out it comes with the movie ticket inside maybe we can redeem that and watch it wanna hold that thing still thanks now I'll I'll bring you. To the theaters you think they'll let me watch it is it empty it's not empty not empty all right that's good no manual no manual Kelly Slater's Ooh. Pro Serve. It's actually a good game, too. It's pretty heavy, too. Beach Volleyball Summer Heat. Good game, good Sopranos. game. Sopranos. Damn, I'm gonna buy all these games. <laughs> yeah, I just got them. These are all new ones. Yeah, I haven't, uh. I haven't, you guys usually have some games, but not this many, though. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I just got them. Reserve Dogs. Might get this, too. Reservoir Dogs. Oh, the Reservoir is a reserve. I can't read. Alright, check these out. What do you think is in the case? It's empty. It's empty? Alright, let's see. Open this one handed. Ready? Cases at Goodwill. Oh, uh, we got Wii Sports. That's all you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. How much is that loose, Wii Sports? Uh, Ten bucks? Yeah. I think it's like 15. Tiger Woods 09. You want girls to complete first season? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, they sell one. Oh, okay, Tiger Woods and then... What else they got? And Charles 07. Yeah, yeah. And then Charles of Eden. That's a good game. Ready? Ready? Nice. Uh, that's a good, that's a good one, special. <laughs> nice. It was free. Hey, well, at least Somewhere. you got the uh, at least you got Wii Sports though. All right, all right. Oh wait, holding got Man on Wii. What? I feel light. Yeah, it feels good. Well, Thank you for speed. On the PS4. PS4. Thank you. I'll get that. All right, there you go. Nice. Yeah, all right. Check that's why check cases, guys. All right. Totally forgot to film this when I was in Time Castle. So I was just really excited. I got the Terminator for NES, uh, it was $30, this is a $60 game all day, so yeah, like I said, totally forgot to film it, but pretty happy, you can always catch kind of have to slip, and you were right, Justin, once in a while, like they price a game from like a year ago, and they don't update it, and here's an example of it, don't so, tell anybody, I know, don't tell nobody, so this is the time caps, uh, sorry, this toy vault from Solomon Pond Mall, so we went out like an hour away, so pretty good pick, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so another week of game hunting is in the books. Um, pretty solid week. 
Um, we did get a new mic, so yep. hopefully the uh, sound quality for this will sound a little better. So uh, this is trial and error. So if you hear a couple of uh, things that might sound really loud, it will, it will get better each week. Also, my neighbors across the street are doing a roof on their house. So I, I hope that doesn't, that doesn't go through the video. But anyway, so uh, this week we went to uh, Plainfield Bike, uh, Seekonk, and then on Tuesday... I went with Justin from Spruce Retro Gaming, went literally all around Mass, went to a couple of cool places I'd never been to, so we got some pretty solid pickups. Um, in Plainfield Pike, um, like I said, we did pretty good. I think we did you know, decent with the, the games. We got a lot of games. Um, like I mentioned before, good I, deals. last week I got the Switch and I got the Sega Saturn game. This week we got a lot of games with pretty good deals. So uh, this is from a seller who normally does have games, and if they do, they're like you know, sports games. Yeah. So... We went to the table and was like, oh wow, a lot of games. So, uh, only two dollars a piece, and I think I got like twenty four, twenty six of them. I only paid forty dollars, so we got a pretty good deal, less than two dollars a piece. Um, so I'll start off with this pilot because we've had a lot of games. So I got Tetris World for the uh, PlayStation Two, Bullet Storm, The Sopranos. This is like a ten to fifteen dollar game, and all these are complete besides one of them. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And Final Fantasy, I stuck in Roman numerals. So what number is that? That is 12. Okay, Final Fantasy 12. Never played a Final Fantasy game before. And then... Never played an RPG game before. I played some RPGs. Yeah, name one. I can't. <laughs> uh, we got Sniper Elite 3. Um, I actually really want to play this game, but it's also sealed. I don't usually get sealed games, but if I do, I don't like to open them. So I might keep this sealed. I'm not sure. Assassin's Creed 2. I already have this game, so I'll probably give it a stand. Do you already have it? I do. All right, I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> Defiance. <laughs> Out of the Chute. <laughs> it looks like a, a bull riding game. This looks pretty interesting. Ooh. And Can't then, wait to play. And then Halo Reach. And then I gotta reach all the way over here and grab these. I got Medal of Honor. PlayStation 3. Morph for the 360. Aliens, Colonial Marines. When this game came out, I think it was Angry Joe who did a like a angry review on it. Said it sucked. So I'm intrigued to play it. This is like a fifteen dollar game. So I bought it when it came out was and it bad? um it was bad. It was oh, bad. Oh no. I wasn't a big fan. Oh the back looks pretty dope, but the whole uh the whole thing looked cool until you play it. Until you play it, oh no. But I remember the Angry Joe review and he, he was pretty angry. Um, wakeboarding Unleashed, and then uh, it's gonna my, be pretty intense, honestly. My favorite is this beach volleyball summer heat. Oh really? Um, Why is that your favorite? Well, like I said, I'm really kind of the I like the back, the back cover art, so this kind of caught my attention. So I just had to pick this up. My dad owns two copies. Of course he does. <laughs> One sticky. Um, and then since standing get anything, I'm gonna let him talk about some of the games I got. These are the rest of the games I got. I'm just gonna pretend like I got these. True Crime Streets of LA. Bring more noise next to that mic, will you? SOCOM US Navy SEALs. Silent Scope 3. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. I never actually played this, but in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, once you beat the game, you could unlock Kelly Slater. Really? And uh, use the surfboard as a skateboard. So I is thought that was always funny. Stuff, or is it just floating? No, it was just floating. <laughs> and you could just grind with it and. Everything it was pretty oh, I thought funny. this was a girl the whole time. Oh, it's a guy. Oh. Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. ATV Off-Road Fury 3. You didn't have the third one? I don't think so. I, I think I have one and two. I think I have all three. I might have it all might three. It might even be more than three, honestly. I was, I was like, I just saw in the video, it was like five minutes. I didn't want to take any more time in just looking the stuff up because there was other people wanted to look at the games. I already had a stack. I would be that guy who was just like, oh, these are all my games. So I tried my best to get out of the way. So this one, I think, was a great pickup. Sidewinder. It's the Japanese version. I didn't realize that Japanese game discs. Look silver like that. Look so nice. It's pretty cool. And, and the comps for this game is all over the place. Like, they're as high as 70 on eBay and as low as 20 So I have no idea. It's just my first... Uh, Either way, you paid $2, $2 for $2, it. I less mean, than $2. Less than $2. Like $2. 70-something. <laughs> Viva Pinata Party that Animals. Game. Looks interesting. Looks interesting. We'll play it. 
Greg Hassan's uh, paintball maxed. Oh, that was Max D. I don't know. It's got a, it's got a little. No, it was maxed. I, I, have, maxed. I have the paintball game for the PS3. I actually played it. It was actually pretty fun. Really? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You go paintballing for real. Yeah, you don't want to go with me. <laughs> and uh, World Destruction League Thunder Tanks. That looks like um, what's that game series for PlayStation? The exclusive ones. Well, like the Twisted War Metal. Thunder Twisted thing? Metal. Oh. It looks just like Twisted Metal. It looked really cool in the back, so I just had to try to grab that one. Does it look like hmm. Twisted Metal in the back? Yeah, kind of like a tank version of it. Yeah, yeah. it looks pretty cool. All right. Um, and then also, this is, I think we got this before the games. I got a PlayStation 1 for $5. I already have a PlayStation 1, but it's for five bucks, so I couldn't, couldn't pass it up. I do have the wires for it already. Like I already have an extra set. So I might trade this in at Time Capsule and get some store credit for more games. And it did also come with a controller, which I don't think... It didn't actually come with it. Um, I just... He I just, just uh, he I wasn't just, very clear on it. Yeah, it wasn't very clear because when so. I grabbed the controller, it wasn't on video. He looked kind of salty about it. He was like, uh, uh, okay. So it is what it is. I got a controller and a... Um, this is a PS2 controller, a knockoff controller. Got that for uh, five dollars, which really one in ten, but I thought that, thought that was a pretty decent deal. Yeah. And then with Justin, like I said, we went on like a mini road trip and went to a bunch of places. Um, I went to a Goodwill, I think it was Worcester, Mass. It's like an hour and a half away. And uh, this is why you got to check the cases because when we showed up, you know, they had all the DVDs and all the CDs mixed together, and there was like Tiger Woods Golf 2009 for the Wii. And then they had Madden 08. And Justin initially walked away first. And I looked at him and I opened up the Tiger Woods game. And there was Wii Sports in it. That's why I got to check the cases. Like a $20 game. So I gave it to him because he resells and I already have Wii Sports. I let him get that. Yeah. But then I grabbed Madden 08 and I opened it up. Because I kind of wanted it just for the case initially. And I got Need for Speed for the PlayStation 4. So that's a pretty good pick. It was like a $16 yeah. game lose. So I'm pretty happy. That's why I got to always check the cases. Because... Most of the time in Goodwill or Savers or any thrift shops, the cases are empty. People steal the games, but in this case, this wasn't stolen yet, so I was pretty happy with that. And then I got, I don't know where I got this one from. Oh, I got this at uh, Bass Entertainment in, I forgot the name of the city. I'm not sure the name of the city. It will be in the video, but uh, I got this for $6.99. Actually, I don't think I put this in the video because the music was so loud in the store. Really? Copy, copyright claim. Oh, it's Vast Entertainment and uh, so that's, I forget. I forget, like I said, I forget the name of the city, but pretty cool store. They have a lot of cool stuff in there, like thousands of games, toys, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Magic cards, everything you can think of. Also had a ba um, box Saturn for two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. completing the box. I was really tempted on getting it. That's a pretty wow. good deal, but yeah. I didn't feel like dropping two hundred bucks. But um, this only game I picked up, Breakthrough, it was six ninety nine. I had a whole stack of games I wanted, but I didn't really feel like spending $50 in games I most likely never play. Um, this does look interesting. Um, the chance of me ever playing it is probably slim, but I would, I would definitely try it, but add it to the collection. I kind of want to have a full NES collection one day, so that would be kind of cool. And then it's from another game store. Another game store that I forgot the name of right now, and I don't know if I added the footage or not, because once again, there was a lot of uh, music in the background, but I got F-15 City War. It's one of those uh, unlicensed NES games. This was five ninety nine. Then I got Dig Dug 2 with NES. This was initially fourteen ninety nine. dollars um, but I asked the guys, you know, that's a little pricey, and Chance can knock it down a little bit, and he knocked it down to $10. He used price charting, which is pretty cool, so I got it for $10. And then I got uh, Wayne Gretzky's Hockey for six ninety nine. If I'm not mistaken, this is like a $10 game, so it's a pretty good price on that. So that's why I grabbed it. And then this is from the Toy Vault in the Solomon Pond Mall uh, somewhere in Mass. Once again, like two hours away from my house. Um, Toy Vault um, is a New England thing. They have one in Warwick. They have another. Where's the other one in Grand Island? I, I feel like that's the only one in Rhode Island right now. They must have a couple in Mass then. There's yeah. one in Solomon. There's also another one too. And then they have a huge, um, like a distribution they, center kind of thing. They moved a lot. They moved a lot, yeah. But, and, but they mostly do toys and like um, action figures and stuff like that. They've got a lot of comics too. Where Justin goes yeah. there. This one didn't have any comics. This one just had toys really? and games and stuff. Oh. But anyway, so Justin pointed out, said, you know, we should go to that place because uh, this particular location is pretty slow. 
Um, so they probably uh, don't update the prices because well, how they do it is they have the distribution center. They get all the games there. They price them and they send them out. And they don't get repriced. So if they get priced last year, the price might go up. So the example is the Terminator. I know this is like a $60, $70 game. So when I saw this thing in the case for 30 bucks, I had to scoop it. And I, I, I was pretty happy. Like I call it toy ball slipping. So a $70 game or a $60 game for $30 was, was definitely cool. So add that to the collection. So I got five nes games and 26 playstation 2 and 360 games this week so pretty happy um next week i kind of want to go to the random flea market we haven't been there in a while we haven't, we haven't been, been there i don't think we've been there all season yeah um i have this sunday off so do you have this sunday off i do not okay well maybe me and colby can go but <laughs> we'll go somewhere we've had the same couple of spots and i gotta go to uh movie games and more um i've been mentioning the last like five six videos but they have really odd hours. I mean, like, they only advertise on Craigslist. And then sometimes when they say they're open, you show up, they're not open. Like, they're open from, like, 10 o'clock to, like, 11.30. And then from, like, 12 to, like, 2. Like, they have, like, weird um, hours. Another one that's been doing that is House of Cards. Well, they were closed for... Uh, they're doing renovations, too, yeah. for a while, too. So, um, I passed by it recently. They are open now. They open at noon, too. So, so it's kind of yeah. hard when weird I Weird hours, three. but... We gotta, we gotta check I mean, them out. Yeah. They were always a good good place to go to. Definitely. So now like, that now that they're open back up, we need to try and make a stop there. We have to go there. We're gonna bring Chris. Chris has been um, hibernating for the last like year. Since uh, our third video. Yeah, since pretty much we started this channel, he has been missing. Yeah, he started with us and he just uh, disappeared. But anyway, so uh, like I said, pretty solid week. Uh, if you guys like the audio or does it sound better, just let us know in the comments. Um, got this cool mic for my stepdad for my birthday. It's a Yeti mic. I know a lot of YouTubers use it, so. I was just doing some tests on it and sound a lot better, it's so nice. I, I hope it sounds pretty good. So also, um, for those wondering, yes, I did get spanked in Madden by Zach. Yeah, we just played. Um, um, he was the Rams and I uh, was the Giants, and you got, you got. What's the score on the screen behind the camera? It's forty-two to thirty, but it was looking pretty bad before then. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So give you a couple bites or something. I'm gonna. Like, I'm gonna have to get him back next time. Not gonna happen. You're like a six-game losing streak, bro. <sighs> At least. Anyway, like I say, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, watch us next week. Hope you get some good pickups like we always do, and uh, see you then.